The Columbia County Performing Arts Center has been around since May of 2021, and they host a variety of events from Broadway, concerts, to local benefits. With the facility being relatively new, General Manager Josh Small wanted to invite us out to take a look at everything the venue has to offer. We want to um, help provide, you know, a lot of cultural arts improvements for the area. Um, you know, we have a great little downtown area starting up here for Evans. You know, we're right across from Evans Town Center Park. You know, there's a lot of different local businesses coming to the area. So we really want to, you know, add some um, extra excitement and extra entertainment options for the area. The Columbia County Performing Arts Center has a wide variety of shows coming to the stage and everything inside the center is top of the line. Everything is brand new. And, um, you know, we have state of the art of production, um, all the lighting is brand new, and we have uh, really high end acoustical features throughout the whole facility. Patrons that have come to the Performing Arts Center have been impressed. You know, they're, they're really appreciative of the facilities. Um, they're appreciative of the seating. There's really not a bad seat in the house. Even if you're up in the, the upper balcony, um, it's still a great view. Some of the rea reactions that I'm hearing are, gosh, you know, this is my first time coming and it's such an enjoyable experience. Um, and, and I love to hear that, you know, not only from Columbia County residents, but Richmond County residents as well. You're really going to be wowed from the moment that you step in the front door um, to the moment you walk inside the theater and the moment you leave. The Columbia County Performing Arts Center is a great addition to the area, so if you're looking for a new place to take in a show, it's definitely something you'll want to check out. You know, I encourage everyone to come out once, and I think once you come out once, you're going to be hooked. Brandon Dawson, WJBF News Channel 6.